Hello and welcome back, everyone, to our our Magic the Gathering set explorations on Rocket Rabbit commentaries. And in this and in this episode, I decided that we're gonna go way back to just before the start of uh, just before the start of what would be the modern uh, card uh, card border. And um, the reason why is so that we can go and explore uh, Urza's Destiny, one of the most enchanted quote unquote uh, Magic the Gathering sets in uh, in history because. We have a lot of enchantment stuff going on, and we have a lot of stuff that gets powered up by the enchantments in the set. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to explore it specifically for a couple of cards. Um, I'm going to be running Is It so I can show off the, t the two specifically that I, that I really wanted to, to show off. But uh, there, are, there are a lot of enchantment synergies in, the, in this. Indeed. And Mr. Cloud is running... Selesnia. Ah, uh, right then. So, let us begin. Yes. Charmed, I'm sure, by the sheer number of different enchantments. And also, uh, we have upkeep mm. counters on a whole cycle of enchantments on Ursa's Destiny. I'm not going to... I can't keep this. I will uh, mulligan. Uh, th this I I'm can keep, definitely. I'm, right. I'm going to roll a d20. No, right. Roll... Mm, hey, right. I actually won the die roll once. I want to go first. All right, and uh, let me see if this is a capable hand. Indeed, this is not a capable hand, so I'm going to mulligan this hand. Drop the library. Shuffle, and we're going to take a house mulligan. Okay, this hand is capable, and I'm going to play this for the game. All right, then. I will Here we start. Go. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put down an island. Then I'm gonna spend one in order to cast the fledgling osprey. I will end. It has flying only if it's enchanted. Mm -hmm. It's indeed true that the gift of growth and maturation is something like magic. I'm gonna put down a forest. I'm gonna tap it to cast the elvish lookout. Ooh, okay. Cannot it cannot be the target of spells or abilities, also known as shroud. Yes. I will and I will pass. All right then. Hmm. I'm going to put down a mountain and then I'm going to spend one in order to cast the sigil of sleep on my fledgling osprey. Moha. <laughs> and then I'm going to have my fledgling osprey attack you for one in the air. Yep, because it has flying, now that it is enchanted. However, your Sigil of Sleep cannot target the Elvish Lookout because it has Shroud. That is correct. We have some interesting synergies happening. Or disharmony. I am going to pay two and cast Sanctimony. Okay, then. Whenever an opponent... <clears throat> This guy right here cat, uh, taps a mountain for mana. I gain a life. Which is very nice. Yes. And now I'm going to swing into you for one. All right. I'll take one. The game is now tied. And I will end my turn. We're going to have to tie game for a quite for quite a while, honestly. going to put down another island, and I'm going to swing at you for one in the air. All right. I take another damage. Mm. And uh, I will end. But he did not cast any spells. Interesting. <clears throat> Let's play to play a Heart Warden. Okay, then. Now I have my stupid Elvish Mystic, which is more power, which is just as weak. It produces green mana, but it does have a sacrifice ability in case I need a mana sink. I will swing into you for one again. All right, I'll take one. And it's your turn. Mm. Mm. All right, gonna put down another island, and uh, I'm gonna spend two in order to cast the Metathran Soldier. Uh oh. Mm. And then I'm gonna have my Fredsling Osprey swing at you uh, for one in the air. Okay, I take one damage from right. it. And then Sigil of Sleep finally has an acceptable target on, on with your Heart Warden. Yep, 
So, Heart Warden goes back to my hand. Alright, I will end. Alright, so I see I have to take different measures in order to make headway in this game. For instance, I'm going to pay two and cast another Sanctimony. Okay. And then I will swing into you for one. I, I'll block with my meth and uh, soldier. Alright. Now let's go to damage step. They both die. Yay. I will end my turn. Okay, then. Better think twice about playing those red spells. Mm. Mm. Alright, I'm going to put down a mountain and I'm going to swing at you for one in the air. Okay. Boom. And uh, I will end. Alright. Well, I see that your board is conspicuously empty. I'm going to pay a green to cast another Elvish Lookout. Okay. Pay one to cast the Braidwood Sexy. Ooh, and I will end okay. my turn. Very sexy. Mmm. Mm. Ha. All right, I'm going to put down... I'm gonna put down a mountain, but go on. <laughs> mm. Am I about to gain a lot of life? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna swing at you for uh, for one in the air. Okay, I take one. All right, I'll end. Grudat has mate in fifteen. Yeah, I will pay two. And I'm going to tap and sacrifice my Braidwood Sextant. No, for my library for, for basic land card, I reveal it and I put that card in my hand. And that card is going to be a forest. Okay. And I will put this forest into play for my land play. And then I will swing into you for one damage. Okay, then. And it is your turn. Hmm. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to put down another mountain. And then I'm going to swing at you for one in the air. Man, you're really holding back on those spells. I'm going to take that. Alright, and uh, I will end. Okay, then. Uh, yeah. I got three mana now. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> well, that's not very helpful. That is... Uh... Hmm. No, maybe. Ooh. No, that's right because because of the stupid shroud ability. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna pay another two and cast a heart warden. Okay. And I'm gonna swing into you for one damage. All right, I'll take one. Yes, you did, and I will end my turn. So there. Hmm. All right. Chicken. Um. I'm going to put down an island, and then I'm going to spend mm -hmm. five, meaning you gain two life, in order to cast Treachery. Yep. Oh, Treachery. What is this? I'm going to take control of your Heart Warden. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, fine. You can have my Heart Warden. All right. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Attach to Heart Warden, and I'm going to swing at you for one in the air. So you're not, you're not going to you're not going to untap five the five mana you spent in order to play it? Um, no. No, I am not. Okay. I'm going to take one damage. Mm. Alright, I will end. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Alright. Uh, I'm going to pay uh, two. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, another Heart Warden. Okay. There. No, actually, screw that. I'm going to take that move back. All right. I'm going to pay two in order to cast the Capetian Knight. All right. Hey, he's uh, got he's got uh, 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 unefficient fire breathing. Huh. <laughs> unefficient fire breathing. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, that would just about defeat the purpose now, wouldn't it? Thing is, is uh, kind of interested in getting at your life points. Yeah, I'm gonna swing at you with the lookout. Mm, all right, I'll take one. He took. He takes one. All right, I will end my turn. Okay. 
Um, hmm. There we go. All right. I'm going to tap a Heart Warden and four uh, islands in order to cast my Thran Golem. Uh oh. Moha. Ooh. Mm. Plus two, plus two, flying, first strike, and trample. And nice. then I'm going to give you two life in order to put a Sigil of Sleep on my Thran Golem. Oh, crap. Two life. And now he's a 5-5 five, five with flying, first strike, trample, and has whenever it deals damage to a player, return target creature that orders him. Okay, so this is going to get ugly because I am still low on mana. All right, I'm going to attack you with okay. for a one in the air with my Fledgling Osprey. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, um, and then uh, uh, because I successfully dealt damage, uh, Sigil of Sleep is going to bounce your uh, Cavation Knight. All right, so this game should be over pretty quickly now that you got that Thran Golem in play. Fucking finally, dude. All right, let's put down the planes. Tap four for the voice of reason. Okay. This is a 2-2 two -two with protection from blue, meaning you cannot bounce it with the Sigil of Sleep. That's so there. true. All right, and then I'm going to end my turn. All I right. Kinda wish I, I kind of wish I got to play this card like... Four freaking turns ago. Mm. Huh. I'm going to give you two life in order to cast Incendiary. Okay. And two I'm going life. to attach it to my Thran Golem. Uh, put a fuse counter, beginning of upkeep. Ah, oh, we finally got we finally got the upkeep enchantments. Nice. All right, and I'm going to have my Thran Golem uh, uh, attack you for five in the air. All right. All right, I'll take that five. All right. Um, unfortunately, you have no creatures for which for with which I can bounce us uh, with Sigil of Sleep. So uh, I win. All right. Uh, I think I have. I, I got. I actually have an answer. What do you know? I'm gonna pay a white. I am gonna enchant my Voice of Reason with the Mask of Law and Grace. Okay. So now the voice of reason has protection from all of black, red, and blue. Yep. Shit, but your Thran Golem, Thran -golem is none of have, those. He doesn't have any colors attached to it, so that sucks for me. Um so uh let's see here. Oh yeah. Uh I'm gonna pay three and three, and I'm going to cast my Reliquary Monk. Okay. And then I'm going to swing into you for one. Mm, uh, actually, make that two. Make that two. Okay. Uh, oh, three. that would be three, actually. Um, that's that's two in the air and one on the ground. All right. I'm going to have my Heart Warden uh, be declared as a blocker for your Elvish Lookout. Is that okay? Uh-huh. Okay, and, you're declaring a blocker, mm, and then and you're going to play a card once with transition to blocking. Uh huh. You, you got okay. okay. I'm gonna spend two in order to sacrifice my heart warden. No, oh, that needs so, to go to your grave so I can draw a card. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. I see. I see what you did there. That's a good play. Yeah. Uh, uh, give me back you, my heart warden. <laughs> I'm a, I'm trying to man. There. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. And then uh, I will uh, I will end my turn. Okay. Now, if only I could cast. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, during right. During my upkeep, you, you incendiary got, you got, uh, gains a uh, red counter, a uh, fuse counter. Yeah, I, I don't think your Thran Golem is gonna get put in the graveyard this game. But uh, go on. Uh, come on, if I well, actually, that's right. He's got flying at the moment. Um, hmm. Yeah, he's a five-five. All right, I'm going to give you two life so that I can cast my uh, uh, Kolos Yearling. Nice. Well, you have to pay a third mana for that, Mr. Gerdat. Okay. And, uh... All right, thank you. Then I'm going to give you another two life so that I right. can cast my Wild Kolos. That's haste. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm All right, I'm going to attack you for six in the air. I <laughs> see so you held back the Wild Colos. That was a good move. Because <laughs> you better believe I was going to destroy that Thran Golem. Yep, I'm going to take six damage. Alright. And then. Uh, my Sigil of Sleep bounce. on my uh, 
Nah, or uh, Frozen Osprey will uh, bounce your Reliquary Monk. Uh huh. And so my Reliquary Monk cannot be put in the graveyard because you're just gonna keep bouncing it to my hand. Well, mm. that sucks for me. All right, I will end. All right, let's see what we can do here because we have uh, we have a bit of a problem here. Well, I must say it's about effing time I actually get one of these. Um, well, too little, too late. <laughs> I'm going to pay three in order to get my Voice of Reason started on Momentum. Okay. At the beginning of my upkeep, Momentum gets a growth counter, and then Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each growth counter on Momentum. However, you have Mate in two as long as you don't cast any more red spells. I am going to swing into you for two in the air. Um, I, I'll take two. And I will end my turn. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna swing out. Mm-hmm. Mm, so six in the air and three on the ground. I'll take all nine of that damage. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll end. All right. 